this RDX in its current form dates back to the 2013 model year, albeit with a few updates to keep it fresh. Today's RDX is available in three basic flavors, base, technology and advance, with further choices in terms of front or all-wheel drive and the brand's Acura Watch Collision Avoidance Tech. All in, the spendiest RDX still runs under $45,000, which is about where some of its rivals like the BMW X3 and Mercedes-Benz GLC class start. True, the RDX doesn't match them in terms of features, style, or refinement, but its value is noteworthy. Acura bucks the turbocharged four-cylinder trend by fitting a 3.5-liter naturally aspirated V6 to all RDXs at 276 horsepower and 252 pound-feet of torque. The V6 is no slouch and it returns fuel economy figures that aren't far off of less powerful turbo fours. Front-wheel drive is standard and all-wheel drive is $1. 500 extra for those who need more grip. Though the RDX isn't the sexiest thing on the market, it's far from it. The crossover's basic two-box shape wears the brand's deep nose better than its sedans. Its interior is busy and not quite as upmarket feeling as some swankier rivals, but, again, there's that low price point considered as the bridge between mainstream crossovers like the Honda CRV and true luxury models from German competitors. The RDX begins to make a lot of sense. 